this is a warning for British citizens who travel through the European Union this summer. You could face a fine, a combined fine of over 400 euro, which is about 380 pounds, but it could be much more, whilst travelling through the European Union by train. In fact, in France there is an obligation for people who travel through France, which is composter le billet. You have to validate your ticket. It's not like in England where it's you know enough to just buy the ticket, then you can hop on the next train. No. In France, you have to composter le billet. Before you go on the train, there's those yellow machines. You have to compost, you have to put it in, and there will be the date and the time and the number of the train station on it. In Italy, if you go through Italy, it's even stricter. It's called obliterare biglietto. You bought a ticket, you could use it any day within a month, two months, three months. It depends a bit on the, on the distance you, you bought a ticket for, on the miles you bought it for, but you have to validate your ticket before traveling, just before going on the platform. You see those machines, they're not for commuters, do not ignore them, yeah? It's very important. You might end up with a massive fine if you want to travel through the European Union this summer, so please be careful, yeah? Always, always validate your ticket. I think there is a little way around this um, because you might forget I forgot many many times in France to do that and then had to run back though because then I, I remember before boarding the train there's also some announcements but often not in English especially in Italy they don't do them in English so I had to run back nearly risk missing my train and then did validate my ticket. Now you could book your ticket on the train line and then you haven't got that problem because pre-booked tickets with the time on it they normally haven't got that obligation but you know if you've got a paper ticket it's better always to try to validate it anyway but of course if it's an online ticket on your phone you won't have that problem this is not advertisement for for for, for the train line or co uk at all in fact for example in spain it's much cheaper if you buy your tra your ticket elsewhere honestly but often the queue is so long, especially in summer, that I buy my ticket there. But it's really, it's not, it's not meant to be advertised. But as I said, there's cheaper places to find your tickets. Yeah, it's just if you want to avoid this this problem with the fine that I just mentioned, that would be a way to do it. Thank you for your attention.